It's Tizzle here. So in this video, I am going to be showing you how to do our site's weapon bounties as efficiently as possible. So as you can see, I am done them all. These aren't the weapon bounties. I got them all and they're pretty much all deleted, so I can't show you. But uh, anyways, I just wanted to go over quickly how I got them so fast. So I will just start with edge transit. If you have a grenade launcher with chain reaction, this works really well. So I'll quickly show you. Um, yeah, you can take out the waves in like three shots. It's crazy. And I think my best was I did a Shiro Chi in only five shots. I kind of like let them get all grouped up, but I just wanted to show you just how quickly it can clear Shiro Chi. So you're gonna wanna get a Shiro Chi checkpoint because you can either do this in Onslaught or you can do it uh, just anywhere out in the solar system. So the next one, I used Bad Juju for Elsie's rifle, and I'll show you where I went. So on the EDZ, there's a lost sector back here. So you just go down and you take your sparrow and it's just in this little cave. And this is where I do a whole bunch of my testing. So when you come into the cave, the ads spawn in, and yeah, you're just gonna take them out. So the bad juju is excellent because you can get string of curses times five, which is a damage buff. So it's literally going to kill everything. Most weapons pretty much kill anything in uh, just regular lost sectors. But anyways, this one's just really nice because you never have to reload it, but you need to focus on crit kills. So if you're focusing on crit kills, I've got a little uh, thing up next to me. This one took me four to five runs. I can't remember exactly. I wasn't tracking it on the first one, but then I thought, hey, maybe I'll make a video because I'm really good at doing stuff efficiently in this game. Um, the reason I don't recommend doing this in Onslaught, especially if you're doing Legend Onslaughts, if you're doing regular, maybe it's fine. But a lot of the times, these type of weapons don't really fit into your, into your loadout. So you might be hampering yourself trying to do the bounties. So the bad juju one took me four to five runs of this lost sector, which was about 10 minutes. Uh, the next one I'll show you is recluse. And I'm not sure if, uh, <clears throat> if it's like tuned differently or what, but I went to Shiro Chi for this one and I used the manticore and why the manticore is nice is it kind of has like built in subsistence, uh, when you're floating, as you can see, it's like regenerating my ammo and it hits really hard on red bars, which like these knights are. So you can also use your tether. So I recommend doing all this stuff on a hunter. So you can use your tether and yeah, just slay out on ads. So this one, I was only getting 10 to 14% per run. And I had written down that it took me nine runs. So this one's a little longer, takes a couple minutes each run. So you're looking at maybe 20 minutes uh, for this one, if you're using this method. But again, in Onslaught, especially if you're using a legendary SMG, you're not gonna be getting many kills like the way Onslaught set up. Uh, it's really ability heavy, and if you're using a primary, you probably want it to be an exotic primary. So yeah, just go to Shiro Chi. I'll show you. You can either try the checkpoint bot, which is that on screen, or you can put in the code, which I will show you as well. So that's the code right there. So go to the wish wall in Dreaming City, walk forward, and then it takes you to Shiro Chi. Uh, next is Fallen Guillotine, and this is crazy, same thing at Shiro Chi. Uh, just watch how good Chain Reaction is here, I'll let them bunch up. So I have a Chain Reaction Dragon Cult Sickle. Uh, maybe this run doesn't show like Chain Reaction the best, but trust me, when they like group up, you can take out like so many, and those all count for sword kills. And then you can also tether, like I didn't tether here, but you can tether and they will also count as the sword kills on all the tethered enemies. So this one was uh, six runs at 17% per run, but you can see I'm already dying. So here I was at four seconds and then I'm wiping less than a minute later. So that one is like a, a five minute one, very, very quick. Hung Jury probably takes the longest so I tried in a few different spots. I tried in this EDZ loss sector. Um, so if you back up at Shiro Chi like I am and hit your crits, then you can do this just fine. Uh, 
So I'll show you the weapon I used because I've been showing the weapons. So there's my chain reaction Dragon Cult Sickle, chain reaction Hullabaloo, really good as I showed. Um, I had a subsistence hung jury, but I also used their rewind rounds. Both are good, but anything with like subsistence is really nice. But any scout rifle, it's just the less you can reload, the better. And uh, yeah, so the scout took me 15% yeah, per run for seven runs. So, <clears throat> but these runs were much slower. Like you can see, I used my sword to kill like the bigger guys. Uh, so yeah, we're like a minute and a half in here and I'm still getting crits where like the sword and the GL were super, super fast. So that one's gonna take a little longer, but again, if you were trying to get kills with a scout rifle, other than Polaris Lance maybe in, um, in Onslaught, it's gonna take you a while and it's probably gonna hamper your build. So let's see, I think I've shown everything except Succession. So for Succession, I like to go to Carl, who is on Nessus. So you load in here and then you go across the Vex Milk and there's like a lost sector over here, the Conflux, and you're gonna go in there. And once you're in there, just get a bunch of crit kills. So the sniper took me eight runs. It was about 15%. Obviously, if I'm missing crits, it's gonna go a little slower. So just take your time with your shots and I'll just show you the rolls that I used. So I used um, the Supremacy because rapid fires have lots of ammo. And then I use this just because it has Envious Assassin, so I never had to reload it. I would just get kills with this and it would load this. And then I had the Whisper on. So I was using, uh, yeah, triple snipes and just going through and sniping everything. And then you can also take Carl out with, uh, I think I take Carl out. But anyways, um, yeah, and that's how you can do them really quickly. So like I said, the sniper one and the scout one are a little slower because it's really crit based, but these two aren't crit based. This one is just basically get a bunch of multi kills and the pulse rifle one went super, super fast with bad juju. So all in all, I was under two hours and that's like with putting in the Shiro Chi checkpoint, which I highly recommend you do because you could see like for four of the weapons I used that. Uh, yeah, anyways, I just wanted to make this video. Sorry, it's not like highly edited, but I didn't really think it needed to be. I thought the information was more important than it being edited. Um, I am working with an editor now. Let me show you him. I want to give him a shout out because he did a really good job of some videos. Yeah, so go subscribe to him. He's awesome. His videos are really good. His editing's really good. Uh, yeah, I'll show you the videos of mine that he did. You could probably tell. So he did the Solo Flawless build, which is at 84,000 views. So props to him. He did an excellent job. He was really going for the vibe I was going for. And then he did all these exotic breakdowns, the five of them. Worst, best, and the top heavy specials and primaries. So like I said, go sub to him. Uh, he's a talented player, really good editor. And if there's any editors watching this and you want to work with me, I would love to hire another editor or two for Final Shape. And cause yeah, with Prismatic and stuff, there's so many builds I'm gonna wanna make. And I do like when they're nicely edited, but editing is like my Achilles heel. I'm not very good at it, which is why I'm just giving the info like this just to get you guys the information. That's kind of my niche is I give good information. Like I know my stuff. I'm just not patient enough for editing. And speaking of patience, that's why I like to do everything as optimally as possible. So that's why I wanted to show you how to get all of our site's bounties done really, really quickly. So anyways, I hope that video helped you. Uh, use those strats. In my opinion, it's probably the quickest. Like I said, it might be a little quicker in Onslaught depending on the weapon you're using, but you might hamper your runs by trying to get certain types of kills. So just do it all kind of before, like do it early in the week before you get grinding onslaught, because then once you're done, you're able to attune the weapon. So once you do the R site bounty, you can um, come over here and then just attune. I swear it said it here. I think I'm attuned to edge transit. So this one's edge transit. So you can just attune and it would look like this. So you just go up and go like that. So once you're done all those bounties, that's how you attune. Anyways, I'm jabbering on, so I'll let you go. Thanks for watching. Take care.